Hey friends, welcome to my awesome science lab. Today, we're going to be scientists and do some super cool experiments. We'll learn about chemistry, which is like mixing stuff up, and physics, which is how things move. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay friends, for our first experiment, we're going to make a volcano erupt. Don't worry, it's a safe volcano, not a real one. We're going to use baking soda, which is like magic powder, and vinegar, which is a little bit sour. First, we take our bottle. It's like our volcano's home. Now, we carefully pour some baking soda into the bottle. It's like filling the volcano with its secret ingredient. Now, for the fun part, we're going to add the vinegar. But be careful, friends. Stand back. Pour it slowly into the bottle and watch what happens. Whoa! Look at that! Our volcano is erupting! That's so cool! Do you know why that happened? The baking soda and vinegar reacted with each other, and they made a whole bunch of gas bubbles. It's like when you shake a soda bottle and it explodes! The gas needed to escape, so it pushed all the foamy stuff out of the bottle, just like a real volcano. For our next experiment, we're gonna try a magic trick. But it's not really magic, it's science. We're gonna make a paperclip float on water. Can you believe that? Let's see if we can do it. First, we need a bowl of water. Look how the water shimmers, it's so clear. Now take a paperclip, just like this one. Now, very, very gently, we're gonna place the paperclip on the surface of the water. Don't drop it, we gotta be super careful. Wow, look at that. The paperclip is floating. It's like it's sitting on a magic carpet, but it's not magic. It's something called surface tension. The water molecules are holding onto each other so tightly that they create a kind of skin on the surface of the water. And that skin is strong enough to hold up our paper clip. It's like when a spider walks on a web, the web is strong enough to hold it up. Surface tension is everywhere. It's what helps raindrops stay together, and it's even what helps bugs walk on water. So cool! Chapter 3. Making Gooey Slime. Who likes slime? I love slime. It's one of the coolest things to play with, don't you think? It's so squishy and fun to play with. And guess what? We're going to make our very own slime today. We're going to make our own slime right now. It's going to be awesome. Are you ready to get started? First, we need some glue. Glue is the main ingredient that gives slime its sticky and stretchy texture. Glue is super sticky. That's what makes slime so fun. Make sure to use a good amount. Pour some glue into our bowl. Don't be shy, the more glue, the more slime. Now we need to add some baking soda. This helps to firm up the slime. Remember the baking soda from our volcano experiment? It's back for more science fun. It's back for more science fun. Baking soda is such a versatile ingredient. Sprinkle some baking soda into the glue. Just a little bit will do. Now we mix it all up. This is where the magic starts to happen. We gotta mix it really, really well so the glue and baking soda combine. Keep stirring, it's like we're making a magic potion. Watch as the mixture starts to change. Now, for the secret ingredient. This is what makes the slime come together. We're gonna add some contact lens solution. This will help the slime to form and become stretchy. This is what's gonna make our slime super stretchy and gooey. It's the magic touch. Slowly pour in the contact lens solution while we keep mixing. Wow! Look at that! The texture is changing. It's starting to turn into slime. Keep mixing, keep mixing. The more you mix, the better it gets. It's getting thicker and thicker. This is so exciting. And there you have it! Our very own homemade slime! Our very own homemade slime! Look how amazing it turned out! Look how stretchy it is! And it's so gooey, you can do so much with it! You can squish it, stretch it, poke it! It's so satisfying! The possibilities are endless! Slime is like a solid and a liquid at the same time. It's called a non-Newtonian fluid. Isn't that cool? Science is so much fun! We can learn and play at the same time! Chapter 4. Secret Messages with Invisible Ink Get ready for an exciting adventure into the world of secret codes and hidden messages. Have you ever wanted to be a secret agent? I have. Imagine sneaking around, gathering intel, and sending secret messages that only your fellow agents can read. And secret agents use invisible ink to write secret messages. It's like having a superpower that lets you communicate in a way no one else can see. Today, we're going to be secret agents and make our own invisible ink. 
We'll use simple household items to create something truly magical. It's going to be so cool. You'll be amazed at how easy and fun it is. We're going to use lemon juice as our invisible ink. It's a natural and safe way to create hidden messages. Lemon juice is a natural acid, and it can react with heat to make something visible. It's like magic. When heated, the acid in the lemon juice oxidizes and turns brown. First, squeeze some lemon juice into a bowl. Make sure you get enough juice to write your secret message. Now dip a cotton swab into the lemon juice and write a secret message on a piece of paper. You can write anything you want, like a secret code or a hidden drawing. Can you see what I wrote? It looks like nothing is there, right? Nope, it's invisible. But don't worry, we'll reveal it soon. Now our message is top secret, only we know it's there. But how are we going to read it? How can we make the invisible visible? Don't worry, I got a plan. We're going to use a little bit of science to reveal our hidden message. We're going to use heat to reveal our secret message. This is where the magic happens. Take the paper and hold it carefully over a light bulb. Make sure you don't get too close to avoid burning the paper. Be careful, the light bulb gets hot. Watch closely as the heat works its magic. As the paper heats up, our invisible message will magically appear. It's like watching a secret unfold right before your eyes. Wow, look at that. Isn't it amazing how the message appears? Our secret message is revealed. We did it. The heat from the light bulb made the lemon juice oxidize, which means it turned brown and became visible. That's so cool. It's a simple yet fascinating chemical reaction. We just use science to be secret agents. How awesome is that? Now we can write all sorts of secret messages to our friends. Imagine the fun you'll have sharing hidden notes and secret codes. Chapter 5. Blast off with a balloon rocket. Get ready to blast off with our next experiment. This one is going to be super fun and educational. We're going to make a rocket, but not just any rocket, a balloon rocket. It's simple, exciting, and a great way to learn about physics. And the best part is, we're going to use science to make it fly. You'll see how air pressure and force work together to create motion. First, we need a balloon. Choose a colorful one to make it more fun. Balloons are filled with air, and air can create force. When we release the air, it will push the balloon in the opposite direction. Now we need a straw. This will act as our rocket launcher, guiding the balloon along its path. This straw is going to be our rocket launcher. Make sure it's a straight one for the best results. Tape the straw to the side of the balloon, like this. Be careful to tape it securely so it doesn't come off during the launch. Make sure it's nice and secure. A loose straw could make our rocket wobble or fall off. Now we need a long piece of string. The longer the string, the further our rocket can travel. This string will be our rocket track. Lay it out in a straight line to ensure a smooth flight. Thread the string through the straw. This will guide our balloon rocket along its path. Now let's find a clear space for our rocket launch. Make sure there's enough room for the string to be pulled tight. Hold on to one end of the string and have a friend hold on to the other end, making sure the string is taut. This will ensure a straight path for our rocket. Okay, are you ready to launch our rocket? Hold on to your hats. This is going to be exciting. Blow up the balloon as big as you can. The more air, the more force it will have. But don't tie it off. Just hold it closed with your fingers. This way, we can release the air when we're ready. Now, point the balloon rocket towards the end of the string and let go. Watch it zoom away. Woohoo! Look at our rocket go. It's blasting off. Isn't it amazing? The air rushing out of the balloon creates thrust, which propels the rocket forward. This is a great example of how force works. That's Newton's third law of motion in action. It's fascinating to see science in motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Our balloon rocket is a perfect demonstration of this principle. Wow! We did so many amazing experiments today. We made a volcano erupt, floated a paperclip, created gooey slime, wrote secret messages, and even launched a rocket. Science is so much fun. Remember, science is everywhere. You can try these experiments at home and learn even more cool things. Keep exploring, keep asking questions, and keep having fun with science. If you liked these experiments, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome science adventures.
See you next time. Wow, look at all the amazing things we did today. From volcanoes to floating paper clips and even secret messages. Science is so much fun. Remember, science is all around us and you can do these experiments too. Keep exploring and keep having fun with science. If you like these experiments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time for more science fun.